Hi you guys, this is Black and Blue and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's savings challenge video and unboxing. <laughs> Let's go. This is Black and Blue, go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. Ooh, it's that time. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Okay, so we are doing an unboxing. We're working with Rose Forever today, and I have opened up so many roses from Rose Forever. And since Mother's Day is right around, is right around the corner, I want to show you guys these roses. I had to bring them back out. These are actually roses that I leave in my office in a really pretty place because I love how... Let me show you this first. I love how beautiful this is. Now, these are not roses. They are called Rose Forever New York, but these are actually, I believe, hydrangeas, and they are gorgeous. They last up to a year, but really, all of mine get more than a year, so I absolutely love it. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty. And oop, they literally, I don't have to water them. These are real flowers. This is real, but you don't have to you don't have to water them. You don't have to put them in the sunlight. They will just stay gorgeous like this for as long as you protect them and don't treat them badly. <laughs> they could probably last forever, honestly. But we are opening up something different from Rose Forever. And I've actually opened up one of their other ones like this, but I got another one. I want all of them. So I was really, really excited to work with them because I wanted this so bad. I'm a mother and this is exactly what I would want for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and I haven't even really opened it all the way. I can smell it. Ooh. Oh, this smells good because of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so excited. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the other one because I can't bring myself to burn them because they look so beautiful. It says Rose Forever on gold foiling. That's a really pretty label of gold foiling. This one is called, I'm gonna mispronounce that, something in berries. Is it bays and berries? It smells amazing. I'm not even putting my nose up to it and I can completely smell it. It smells so good. It's got four wicks. This thing is ginormous. I wish I could show you guys just how big this is. Uh, what can I compare it to? What can I compare it to? Soap. This smells amazing. And I picked this one out, so <laughs> let me go grab the other one so you guys can see. The other, in case you weren't here for the last unboxing, I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is the other one. Look how gorgeous. They have a couple of different scents and looks. And so you can tell these look very different, but they have that really pretty design on them just in different colors. They are so pretty. Ooh, these smell good together too. When you smell it right next to each other, you can see I'm like I got a little dust on mine because I, I'm leaving mine as decoration. I do not want to burn them. They're too gorgeous. I do have a warmer though that I can set this on that I just found in my garage. So I might be doing that, but these are beautiful. Let me, don't, let me know down in the comment section if you guys love candles. I love, love, love candles. So tell me if you love them or if you love, love, love them. <laughs> this is beautiful. I just want to put them like, boom. This is so pretty. Ugh. If you guys have been around, I do have many, 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 many roses from Rose Forever. They are scattered all around my house, in my bathroom, in my kitchen, in my living room, in my office. I have roses everywhere and it's because they're so beautiful and classy looking that I need one in every room. Oh, these are gorgeous. This is so, I'm, I'm excited because while I'm sitting here, I get to smell this and it is smells so nice. All right, let's go ahead and get into this savings challenge. Don't forget Mother's Day. I have a link down below if you guys want to use the link and there is a coupon code. So use that if you guys are interested in getting some roses for your mom or for someone that you care about or someone that you know loves roses that you don't have to water or feed and they last for at least up to a year. That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> I don't, I can never keep flowers alive, but these are the one one company that I can keep these flowers alive 
without doing anything. Literally, I do nothing. Okay, let's count this money so we can get into our savings challenge. And also, thank you so much, Rose Forever, for working with me again. I absolutely love working with your company, Rose Forever, New York. All right, we're going to count this money. But I'm going to use my fingertip moistener because it makes it so much easier to count the money. So much easier. I do have, if you see anything blinged in my videos, it's in my shop. So you guys can always go check out my shop. www.drippedbye.com That's me. Pens and all. Okay, let's get into this video. We got a lot of savings challenges to do today. And I cannot wait. I've been pumped for this video because I am working on some of the coolest challenges right now from many, many, many wonderful small businesses that make them as well as my own shop. And I'm so, I'm super excited. I'm just ready to get into saving challenges. We're gonna, we're gonna fly through these challenges in a good way. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. 20 40 60 85 i have to tell myself to slow down some people like when i slow down i have to tell myself to do that so 500 20 40 60 86 20 40 60 87 20 40 60 80 800 i cannot i was way off you guys 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 80 500 okay that's definitely 500. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. Okay, 800. So we're about to hit 900. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900. Okay, 900. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. Okay, so we're at 1K. 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. That is what we are doing. That I don't know how many times I left in that video, but that was like my third time counting. <laughs> oh, it was like three times, no lie. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, sorry, you're gonna hear my chair. I took my rug out of here, so it's just me and the wood floor. So let's go ahead and jump into, let's start it off with my challenge. Challenges from my shop, I'm not gonna do all of them, but I do wanna do a couple of them. I just love coloring so much. And I have so many options for coloring and I love it. You can never have too many options. So let's go ahead and grab, let's do, what did I do last time? I didn't do light green. I did do red and let's do a dark blue and maybe purple. The essential bags will be back in stock in my shop in about a week. I'm catching up on orders from my launch. And it's going good. But we're definitely going to restock restock them. And let me zoom in so we can get real close and personal. Okay. So these are erasable pens that are in my shop. If you see, this clip will go down when you push down on it. So I leave on all of them just that little gap there so it doesn't get held up when trying to use it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and use the blue. I really love using these and I love coloring, especially in my adult coloring books. All right, that is so much fun. Now each letter is worth $5. I'm the one who got to decide that. 
and you can decide if you were to purchase these from my shop you can decide what however much you want each letter to be worth and let's do the r oh this green is so pretty these i have to say are extremely smooth oh, i get mesmerized looking at these let's do the purple this is a light purple Con like comparing to the other purple this is a light purple <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, that is beautiful. Okay, that was gorgeous. So we did five, five, 10, 15. And when I do my challenges now, I kind of do a little like a condensing. So I'm gonna switch this out for a 20. Why not? I don't do my challenges when I condense anyways, so it's okay for me to do it right away. It helps. These envelopes are back in stock on my website. They were gone for a hot minute, but they're back. And then let's do, mm, let's do this one. Let's zoom back in. I have a lot of challenges I wanna do today, so <laughs> we'll see. How far we get. Okay, so we did one, we're gonna add a five, but I am gonna be switching this out for a 10 because I know there's already a five in here. So let's take that five out and swap it for a 10. These, this candle smells so God, let me zoom back out. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in. Okay. All right. That was fun. I love this. This is in my shop. Super fun. I am going to be just tossing the challenges behind me so you guys might hear that. Now let's jump into Kia Budgets. I love this challenge. This is her version of her 100 envelope challenge. She has a couple versions, but this is one of them and it is so pretty and done so well. So I'm marking off with a Sharpie which numbers I've already completed and I add it into this envelope. So challenge two is the second envelope and I will just stuff each number category and then stuff it inside here. Let's grab a permanent marker. Okay, so I've been using this color. Let's take it out. Now, Let's go ahead and do 16, 10, 15, 16. And then let's do 17, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is so much fun. And these challenges, you can really, if you think a challenge is pretty, you can do it however you want to. That's what I do. I do I do pretty challenges and then I just stuff them however I want. I make up some of my own rules. I might do their rules. I might change it up a little bit. 10, 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 dollars. So let's do 20, 40, 50, 1. <laughs> I made that super easy. 40, 51. This challenge is so much fun. Oh, wait, we had more in here. We might be able to do something else. Oh yeah, we definitely can. So we have 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, oh, 1, Hundred, so let's just do this 10. I don't actually have 100s today, but we have 20, 5, 10. We'll swap that out for a 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll swap that out for a 10. And then swap this out for a 20. That was perfect. How much do we have in here? If you save up on challenge two, if you save up all of these numbers between 11 and 20, and I'm just stuffing the number that's on the bag, 
So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 171, 172. That's awesome. Perfect. Okay, I love this challenge. It's so beautiful. This is from Kia Budgets. You can go to her shop at kiabudgets.com. K-I-A. All right, what do we do next? What do we do next? I have so many good challenges. Like seriously, you guys, I'm doing some of the prettiest challenges that I have found so far and I love them. So this is from my girl, Breathe and Budget, Taryn. Her logo is really pretty right here. This binder is gorgeous. This is in her shop. And the savings challenge comes separately, but you can order the challenge from her as well as a binder if you want to put it in her binder. It's gorgeous. This is a little similar to the last one to where the number on the envelope is what we're stuffing. And these are envelopes, so we can just put them right in here. All right, we did that one. We did that one. We're on to this one. So 14. It says week 14 in April. And we're going to go ahead and do 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then let's do 15. 10, 15. Let's do 16. 10, 15, 16. Why not? Let's do 17. <laughs> okay, 17. 10, 15, 16, 17. Let's do the fun part, which is condensing. Who knew condensing a challenge right away would be so much fun? I love doing condensing videos, so I usually try to save all of the condensing for a video, but I'm liking the challenges, at least doing it this way. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 20, 40, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, 40, 60, 61, 62. I love challenges like this. Challenges where I get to put money in envelopes is just my favorite. Ooh, and these envelopes are made so beautifully. Thank you, Taryn. I absolutely love this. Love. All right. Let me put it behind me so I know that I did it. Okay, next up. Oh, this is from Budgets of Bloom. This is her gorgeous challenge. And this has all of the zodiac signs. Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. And I believe I have, because I don't think these are envelopes. These are not envelopes. This is a tracker. Yeah, so not an envelope. So I put the money inside my accordion. And I have her name on one of these. Let's see. Budgets of Bloom. Here it is. Okay. And we already have some money in here. And a challenge. Oh, I forgot there were challenges in here. Oh my gosh. I probably would have forgot to even do them. Budgets of Bloom. Okay. Perfect. Wait. I have not scratched that one. And I have not scratched that one. Those are from her shop as well. Let's go ahead and start this. Ooh, it's April. Should I just start with April's? Yeah, we'll just start with April. Okay, so each one is what I want it to be worth, I believe. Yep, it says Icon's Worth. Right here it says Icon's Worth, and that's how you spell her name, Budgets of Bloom. And then I'm going to put $5 for each one. And then when I color it in, that is when I am going to fill it out. Oh, there's an envelope in here. How nice is that? Maybe I'll just put it in there then. Let's go ahead and color this one. And I'm using a permanent marker. Because these are laminated, you're able to go ahead and when you're done with it and you want to redo it, you can go ahead and use some alcohol, some non-acetone nail polish remover or magic eraser and then get it off. I'm blowing it to dry it before I close it up. But we filled in one, so let's go ahead and do five. I like that she puts an envelope back here. That's actually a genius. Perfect. Love this challenge. Thank you so much, girl. All right, there's so many good challenges. I just cannot, I cannot. 
Now, I love this one because we're getting to know me better. Let's get personal. This is from Busy Lizzie's Budget. I put this sticker on here that she gave me. So yours won't come with this if you order it from her. But she has a YouTube channel. She has a Etsy. And if you guys miss these other questions, you better stick around. So we're going to use this gold. I don't know if you're a gold lover, but I wanted to do an all gold. So this part right here, the whole tool is gold, but I did gold stones on it. It looks pretty cool. I feel rich. Okay, so let's see. If you've ever had your wisdom teeth removed, and then we're going to scratch off the one that we need to scratch off. So this says add this much if you have, and if not, you need to add this much. So let's go ahead and scratch this off. I have had my wisdom teeth removed. So that means we are going to be stuffing $10. I love this challenge. This is awesome. So we're adding $10 in and I'm actually going to, yeah, we'll leave it at this. And this is from my girl, Busy Lizzie's Budget. And I am drawing a blank on if I have hers in my binder, I do. Now that I have like a binder and my uh, accordion, I gotta remember what's in what. Okay. Let's find Busy Lizzie's budget. Oh, she's the first one. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything I can condense here. There is. This can go into a 20. And this can go into a 10. Perfect. Look at us condensing. Okay, so now I want to get into... We're going to need some dice and we're gonna get into you guys know it bam this is from saving with Shalanda my girl and this is shut the box and I absolutely love this challenge so let's go ahead and get rolling basically I'm gonna roll and whatever the numbers are I can cross off what numbers add up to this or I could cross off the whole number I could cross off one number. I can cross off two numbers. Let's see. Okay, we got three and one, which makes four. So I can just go straight for the four. Was that a good idea? I don't know. Maybe I should have knocked off the one. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Six. Okay. Seven. Oh my gosh. I, the, I can sometimes I'm just more nervous than not. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Let's do the nine and the one. To make 10, you're adding it together. Six, oh my gosh, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna do eight and two. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Eight and two makes 10. Okay, we got five, six, seven, we have eight left. Let's roll an eight. Oh, I busted. Okay, so we had five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was actually pretty close. Five, six, seven, eight. So I have to stuff because I busted and I can't fill nine. I'm going to have to stuff this amount, which brings us to five, six, seven, eight dollars. Not too shabby. Five, six, seven, eight. That was super fun. I love that challenge. That was from Saving with Shalanda. Oh, here it is. Shut the box. Let's see if we can condense anything in here. So 20, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So close. Let's swap this out for a 10 and this out for a 20. So 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 so far. And shut the box. And that's going to be such a random amount when you finish. Because there's no telling how you'll get to whatever you get to. Depending on what you roll. Now, let's go into... I do want to stuff something in here today. So this is the 100 envelope challenge that I have in my shop. And I'm doing pretty, I'm not going to lie, I'm doing pretty good in this. You don't have to fold your money. The slots are on top and in front. Makes it super easy to stuff and unstuff. So we have 19 right here. Let's go ahead and stuff 19. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. 
Let's go ahead and do the 20 as well if I didn't already. Yeah. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, I did. 19, 20, 21. Duh, Erica. Let's do 22. I'm doing a couple different 100 envelope challenges and it's kind of crazy. Not going to lie, but I love it. 21, 22, 23. We will come back to this one if I have some money left over in the end. 24, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or I just might leave some money to do another savings challenge later next week. I do like doing that. Saving challenges just make me happy. And they're fun. So we did Let's Go Personal. Let's go into this binder right here. This is from formerly known as Uni Budgets, Mrs. Million. And it says Disney Princess Savings. Now this is cool. This is going to be a scratch off and it has Disney Princesses, Pocahontas. Oh, mm, I keep on messing up her name. Is it Magical? Snow White? So let's go ahead and start with the first one. I do need a scratch off tool. And I have a lot of different options for scratch off tools in my shop. I am currently doing the extra chunky and I just love the way the extra chunky feels because it's something more to hold on to. It's thicker and I love it. It feels good. It's not smooth. It's there's crystals. So that's what they look like, but it's actually quite comfortable to hold. All right, let's go ahead and start scratching. Okay, I don't have my dust vacuum next to me, <laughs> and I don't really mind either. I think it's kind of fun just brushing it away. Okay, we have 75, so let's go ahead, and these are envelopes, so she killed it with the idea. They got the envelopes and everything in one. So 20, 40, 60, 75. Make sure I did that right. 20, 40, 60, 75 dollars. So every time I go to scratch off, I'm going to put that next amount inside here beautiful that's awesome and it's vellum so you can see through it which i actually like that a lot being able to see my money so this is from mrs million i love it love it all right and she does have a youtube channel so you guys can find her on youtube as well as instagram she's everywhere now let's get into busy lizzie's other savings challenge this is so cute when I, as soon as i saw this one i fell in love with it it's got all of the old school shows and people i love it now let's go ahead we're working on steve urkel and he said did i do that yet? i love this let's go ahead and scratch off this one it's such a smooth like process using these tools and i can hold it from like way back here <laughs> okay so that's going to be $9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Oh, and we do have money. Let's see if we can do anything here. All right. Definitely think we're going to be able to do something here. Okay, so... All right, I'm still zoomed in. I just noticed that. 10, 20, 30, 5, 40. Oh, <laughs> almost forgot to grab it. 40. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. So far in this one, we have $20, $40, $65. Wait. Oh, I must have rounded up. I had to. Usually, I don't have singles. So for savings challenges, I will go ahead and get singles so that I can stuff certain challenges with exact numbers. But usually, I just round up on everything. But there's a couple here. When I multiply a savings challenge or, or add numbers together when that's not really the right rules, I kind of like seeing what the end result's going to be. So I just unboxed, if you guys didn't see it, I did an unboxing, a savings challenge unboxing a couple days ago, and 
This is so pretty. I got this sent to me. It says written and illustrated by Brie Kalen. If you guys check out the unboxing, I have the link in that video in the under the description box. And it is such a gorgeous challenge. I have been waiting to do this one and I'm really excited. Now I'm also really excited because these are erasable pens and you're going to see why that's going to come in handy here in a second. And I'm really excited. So Sally saves money. It's kind of like you're reading a story, but you're interacting with it at the same time. So these white dots on here are going to be where you put the amount at, and we're going to use dice to tell us what the amount is going to be. So the story says, Sally wanted to make a big purchase, so she decided to start saving. Let's see what we're saving. Four and two make six. So let's go ahead and write a six here five and six let's keep going come on sally we gotta save five i might just do a page of video so five six seven eight nine and then i'll add it actually no we're good five six seven eight nine okay let's roll again i like that there's not too many dots on a page but this is great for kids this is marketed for kids and adults it's not just adults. This is perfect for kids and adults. Me too, because <laughs> I couldn't wait to start this as soon as I saw it. So we rolled a nine before. Let's see. We have now a six. The fact that I'm going to be able to erase this and do it again or let my daughter do it next is amazing. Let me just show you. So this says six. All I got to do is really quick. Boom. Gone. So easy. Okay. Let's roll again. And we did nine, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These singles are coming in handy today. And then let's roll. Did I not write that? Uh, let's see. That's a six. Perfect. I hope I did that right. We'll see. So five, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 dollars. Let's make sure I did that right. 36 dollars. So nine plus six plus six plus nine plus six. Is it 36? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Now let's kind of, this page was awesome. I'll show you what we're going to do next week. Maybe she could find some spare change around the house. I am, I love this. I already saw this page in our last video unboxing this, but I get to see how much I'm going to find in the couch by rolling, how much I find under the couch by rolling. This is way too much fun and it's such a beautiful book. Absolutely love it. I'm so glad I got the chance to unbox that and now use it. Love. All right, let's see what we can do. 5, 10, 15, 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So that should be 36. 20, 35, 36. And I believe I have a spot for Miss Bree. Is it this one? Yep. We are starting this challenge out. If you guys saw my unboxing of that video and you got the challenge, let me know because I'm liking it a lot more than I would even expect. <laughs> Way more. I love it so much. Okay, let's quickly get into this one. I think my next saving challenge video, I'll go ahead and do my accordion because there's a lot of challenges in there that we didn't get to today. Let's do 15. This is also another challenge in my shop. It's got my cloud, my custom designed by me cloud envelopes with a number ranging from between five and 50 in increments of five with a touch of bling. And let's go ahead and do this 20. I could keep going. I just love this challenge. I just love putting money in envelopes, period. All right. That was really fun. Now, if you are, if you like a challenge that I did not do today, I should be doing it hopefully later next week. 
But before we go, I'm going to go ahead and stuff one of our envelopes here. In this challenge, these are on my website. They are currently still in stock right now. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply the numbers on the front. That's what I'm doing this time. So nine times two, I need something to hold my place. There we go. Okay, so nine times two is 18. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. Multiplying it is awesome. Last time I added the numbers together and it was fun. It, we got through it way faster than doing it the way where you stuff the actual number that's on there. Nine times one is nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. I couldn't help myself. I just wanted to do another one. Oh, this challenge is so much fun. Okay, let me close her up. This is way too fun. This is in my shop. There's two different box options. There's this one. And then there is the option with the flowers. Now this challenge, I do give you the choice to choose one of these boxes. The boxes do come flat and there's a piece of tape here, here, and then here and here. And you can just fold the box into place very easily and then pull those tabs off and then push it like this. And then it will hold your box together. It's so nice for shipping purposes and I don't even charge for the box. So I only charge for the envelopes and the box is a bonus. Okay. So I love it. All right. Now let's see how much money we're going to have for next week. Okay. I just picked this up and it's more than I expected. I should have kept going with one of my challenges. Oh my goodness. Okay. I definitely have more here than I expected. This is a long one. I know a lot of people don't like long videos, but there's a lot of people that do. And instead of trying to force myself to do like three challenges and then end the video, I like just to, there's so many challenges I want to do. So I just keep going. If you can watch some of the video, great. If you can watch all of it, awesome. But if not, it's totally okay. It is okay with me. I'm having fun just recording, so. All right, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 500. Let me just put this there. 500, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86. So $586 is what we're going to be stuffing next week in our savings challenge video. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I really do want to get some of these other challenges done that I didn't get to touch today. And... Uh, there's quite a bit of shops. There's Hands and Bands, Brook Budget Design, Stuff and Budget, The Almost Organized Owl. I'm excited. Saving with Shalanda, Budgets Bloom, Seki Budgets. Ooh, I'm excited for that one too. Rocks Budgets, love hers. TNL Budgets, classic. Sassy Peanuts, Budget with Mama Bear. There's a lot of good shops in here. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because we are going to have fun and be here or be square. <laughs> no, I'm going to get out of here though. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for Mother's Day coming up. And if you got your mom something, what'd you get her? <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye.